It's a dragonfly. Well, it looks like it, isn't it? It's a toy that I discovered in a case recently. It's actually a ballpoint pen. But I thought, how many other dragonflies have I got? Well, I found three more. So, let's have a go. This is a quite a nice smart one, actually. So put it up to the camera, see if we can get some focus on it. I'll move it around a bit. And back a bit. Lots of detail on it. Very nicely made, too. Would you believe after three or four years, when I took the top off, it actually worked even better. So well done, the manufacturers, to make something that's durable like that. A very smart way of writing, and it, is, it feels comfortable enough in the hand, being slightly soft and things. So it's, it's, yes, the body's actually slightly, slightly jointed, which is rather nice. It's got a nice little crunchy noise as you do that. So a good one to start with. Here's a lovely one that Ray Hall from California gave me last year when he was here. I'm going to turn it on. There's, unfortunately, the switch is broken, but I can get around it. Now look at this. If I can get this up to the camera, this is beautiful. It's um, it's a dragonfly, of course, and it's got a, a light underneath. And it's got lots and lots of fibre optics, starting with a cluster at the bottom. And then it's going to come up with different colours each time it does it. I'll move it very slowly. cut. Lots and lots of detail about it. I'll do a few actions in a moment. Isn't that a beauty? Probably could wear it on your lapel with a badge with a little sticker thing or something as well too. And it's got nice long lasting batteries in the base of it. So, and the base is just that flashing away like that, of course, making colors. And there's, there's the optical center of the thing where all the fiber optics meet at that point. Those two little bunches there. So it's a beautiful object. I think my friend said he'd actually found it in Austria of all places. He came from California, but found this thing in Austria. So. I'm very pleased to get that. <laughs> this is a bit of fun. I've had this for many years, actually. Let's see if I can get the whole thing into... Listen, it's like a little... Um, I mean, there is a dragonfly at the top here. He's, is he there? Yes. And it's in a little garden, and it's complete with long grass. And look, there's even a little um, static grasshopper there. Beautiful. All I've got to do is turn it on. There's batteries underneath, so I've got to switch it on. There we are. And the motor goes, and this thing starts quivering. And I've got to see if I can... Here we are, get it into view. It's working very nicely now, and I'll turn this thing, the, the garden round, because it's nice to see that grasshopper in different actions. This fluttering action is very nice, it's very realistic. Just a pity it doesn't make any noise, but there we are, we add your own noise if you like. But it's, it's working very well. This little rod here, of course, is quivering and turning around at the same time, so it's got a double action there. And it's nice to have a little garden for a thing to come into. I mean, this is a beautiful bit of... Um, design work, I think, to make it like that. So I'm very, very, very fond of that. It's, a, it's, a, it's an, unlike anything I've ever come across. The big box it came in, and there was two actually. This one, there was, there was a butterfly, which I'll show another time. But that's a little beauty. So let's give him a rest. There he is. This it, it just comes off like that, and that quivers, that does a quivering action like that. And this is a rod that produces. So what a nice idea that is. Very, very good design. The last item is um, a bit of fun. This is actually comes in a packaging like this. It's called a fun Brazilian jungle bug. Wow. MS Tanaka. Is it, is it from Combrio BR Brazil? I don't know where it's come from. But anyway, it's a, it's a, oh, it's a kicker lamp project. Yes, it's typical of them because they love springy things. It's got very springy legs 
and it's got a sucker on the on the on the side here. So when you put it now, you've got to do this upside down. I discovered to make it work well. You push it down, so the sucker grips the plate like that, and then you stand back because it leaps high in the air. Whoa! Oh, there we are. I can't follow the track it with the camera, unfortunately, but they push it down like that. Those three legs want to try and correct themselves, so they do in a bit of whoo. It goes up, whoa. That goes up about um, five feet in the air, which is astonishingly full, but it's, you know, there's something which produces a very good spring. It's well designed, and it's a little beauty. I have found if I put it on the plate this way, it just sits there, it doesn't want to move. It's the, the suction cap is so efficient, it doesn't perform. So it's got to be something which is a little bit... Um, clingy but not too clingy and then it works very well as an object of course it's done best on the floor and things like that so four little grasshoppers all different in all different types not grasshoppers um dragonflies i mean and each one showing a, a nice little bit of motion or action to it too i must look out for some more too <laughs>